Mexico, we saw a stunning strategic victory by Degrassi, turning disaster. Oh, and there's an accident in there. With an early pit stop into a win. From zero to hero. But how did Lucas and the team manage it? Lucas managed his energy consumption perfectly. He had pitted four laps earlier than ideal, so in Vern, the lead chasing car made his stop and had 100%, Lucas had only 71% to do 21 laps and to get to the end of the race. Things got worse when a safety car wiped out his half lap lead. He did manage to save some more energy. In comes the safety car and we're racing once again here in Mexico City. With 16 laps to go, Lucas had 58% to Vern's 77%. Lucas had to use just under 4% of energy per lap when the others were using 5%. How could he get to the end in the lead? He had to drive strategically using a technique called lift and coast. To win in Formula E, yes, you must be able to attack and go flat out. But the key to being the first car past the flag is being able to carry speed while using the least amount of energy. So I'm going to have a go and see how it's done. Now if I'm going as hard as I can, flat out, max attack for the lowest possible lap time, I would break as late as possible. So keep the throttle down, 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 and the last moment, now, break as hard as the car will allow. Depending on the turn, I'll be braking even after I've turned in, using the brakes to balance the car. Then through the turn, as soon as I can get away with it, hard back to the power. Controlling the slide, getting the power into the tarmac. Let's have a look inside the car and see where the energy is used. Full power is used flat out, full speed for the longest time, so the energy is drained fast. The brakes get hit hard, some energy is regenerated, but really this method is fast, but not efficient. But if I do that every turn, I'm going to run out of usable energy at the end of the race, and the other drivers are going to come past, so I must conserve as much energy as I can while going as quickly as possible. This technique is referred to as lift and coast, but it's actually more challenging than it sounds. So here I go again, approaching another corner. Now I back off the throttle earlier, let the car reduce speed naturally, then I brake more gently and later, trading ultimate top end straight line speed for corner entry speed. Speed at the apex may be the same depending on the corner, but I may need to take a different line to carry the speed. Under acceleration, I'm again as hard as possible on the throttle to get the car up to speed as soon as I can. Let's have a look inside the car and see where the energy is used. Full power is used for a shorter time, so less energy is consumed. Ultimate speed is slower, braking lighter, and getting more regen putting energy back into the battery. In races, drivers can look for other drivers using lift and coast. They can use this to attack, they go flat out themselves and dive past, overtaking them. But then they are vulnerable. They used energy to overtake, and now they must lift and coast too. It's about strategy and skill. The drivers who can carry speed without using energy are at a massive advantage.